Hey, David here from Brilliant Directories, and in this video we'll be going over your main website design and homepage setup. So right now we're logged into our website's admin. What we're going to do is hover over Settings and go to Design Settings. Now we have several tabs up here for our design settings. We're first going to go over the Pre-Made Color Sets tab. So here we have a bunch of pre-made color sets that you can choose from to instantly change all of the colors on your website. So just to show you what our website looks like right now, go ahead and open it up. So right now we're using the default color set. This is how every website looks when it's launched. So to quickly change this, we'll come over to our pre-made color sets. We will choose deep blue. We'll save these changes. And we'll go back to our website and refresh. And so now you can see all of the colors throughout our website uh, have been changed. So to customize this even further, we can now go into design settings and here we have a lot of drop down options to choose from. So throughout all of these options, we can change font sizes, font families, the colors of almost every single element throughout the entire website, button colors, Pretty much anything you would want to change, you can do so uh, right from this Design Settings tab. So as an example, let's go ahead and change the header background color. That's this color right up here. We'll change it from blue to purple. We'll save these changes. We'll refresh. And there you can see the color is changed just like that. So let's go ahead and revert back to the uh, default color set. Refresh just to make sure. And now let's go over the logo design. So right now we're using a custom logo. This is our custom image that we've uploaded and set to be our website's logo. But let's say we don't have a custom logo. It's really easy. Let's first go ahead and remove our custom logo. So we'll delete that, we'll save these changes. And so now our custom logo is gone. What we can do if we don't have our own logo is right here under logo design in the design settings, we can choose our logo title. So in this case, our website is called My Top Dentist. So we'll just type that in. And then our slogan appears right below our website name. So we'll go ahead and change that to find the right dentist for you. Our logo color we can change. That's this blue right here. So we can change that to red. Our slogan color is the color of our tagline right beneath it. So let's change it from gray to blue. We can also change the font family of our logo. So let's go ahead and choose a different font just for an example. We can choose the font size as well. So let's make it a little bigger. And the logo icon is the icon that appears right here to the left of our logo. Now we have hundreds of preloaded icons that you can choose from. You can also uh, type in a search term to filter some of them. So let's type in MD to get our doctor logo. We can choose the icon color. So let's make it a variation of red. Choose that and let's save these changes. So we'll refresh our website. And there you go. You can see the size has been updated, the font family, the colors, our icon. It's really that simple to create your own logo instantaneously. Now, <laughs> this isn't a very good example because it doesn't look good, but you can understand uh, what you can do with these options. Also, what you can do is if you don't want an icon to be displayed, you can just choose yes right there in that option. And now we don't have the icon anymore. So there are tons of options that you can choose from that you can customize in the design settings. So now let's review the homepage slideshow. That's this area right here at the top of the homepage where the search box is located. 
So to do that, we'll go back to our design settings and we'll click the home page layout tab. And so let's go ahead and expand the home page search settings. And here we can replace this image just by clicking replace image. You can upload your own image and select it. So let's choose one of these preloaded images. You can change what side of the website the search box is located on, the orientation, whether you want it vertical or horizontal, the padding of the box, what type of searches you want to have for this main search box on your home page. Again, down here, you can edit all the text, the colors, the font size, the font families, as well as the colors of the boxes and the buttons. So just to show you some of the variations that we have, let's go to demobootstrap.com. This is our demo website. And here you can see we have a slideshow for this search area. You can also look at our other themes. And here you can see the different variations of the search box and the slideshow that we have. So these are just some ideas that you can use to base your website on. Now, if you would like to actually have a slideshow on your homepage, so for example, this website, you can see we have multiple images scrolling through the back. We'll just go to the homepage slideshow tab. And here you can see all the different slides we can have. We can have up to seven slides for our homepage slideshow. All you would need to do is replace these images with your own images and then you can choose to enable or disable uh, individual slides. Now if you'd want to enable the slideshow, you'd have to enable it right here. You can also choose your rotation interval, so how many seconds each image is displayed for, what type of transition occurs between each image, uh, how long the transition takes, as well as a couple other options. The background color is just uh, while the website is loading, before the slideshow images load, this is the background color that will be displayed. So make sure you pick something that complements your website's design and colors. Lastly in our design settings is the custom CSS and head tab. So here if you're familiar with CSS and you want to further customize your website by including custom CSS, you can create your custom CSS and then paste it right here uh, in this text area. Over here on the right, if you're using third-party plugins or anything that requires you to add elements to your header, you can simply copy and paste those head elements right here in this right-hand text area. You can save those changes and that code will automatically be applied to your website. So that's really all there is to the design settings. It's really simple, it's an intuitive layout, and there's tons of options and customizations that you can choose from if you don't have experience with uh, CSS. So this area of your website's admin is incredibly useful. Uh, anyone can do it regardless of how much knowledge you have on uh, website building or coding. We tried to make this as intuitive and easy as possible. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.